Hey there, I'm the Crazy Flute Lady, and I just noticed something here, and I want to point it out so I can help you guys when you're looking for flutes. So, I've been on eBay recently, as you know, just buying up some project flutes. Not a big deal. And this flute here that you're looking at came up on my recommended list, right? Now, this says it's the Nickel Plated C Yamaha flute with the straight and curved head joint. Now, here's the picture that they put on there, right? And I was on sale for $90. So my thought was, I should get this now. I just recently did a piece for the Flute Center of New York covering the Yamaha with the straight and curved head joint. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way this is legit. Now, if you weren't a person like, who hasn't handled a lot of flutes, how can you tell if this flute is fake or real. So I wanna show us some things we can look for, okay? So first, it doesn't even tell us which model it is. All right, that's a struggle. A good way to do things is like check things. So the Flute Center of New York, they have almost every flute under the sun. So they have one Yamaha type of flute that has a curved head joint. I went ahead and found it for us, okay? It's here. That's the only one, okay? Just the head joint itself is more than the flute with the head joint. Also, they are sold separately. You only get the head joint here. Okay, with that in mind here, we'll come back to this. This says it has both. Okay, so maybe this person bought this. When you go down to your details here, it says it's brand new. Okay. Should be the same in a retail store. All right, but they don't actually send us, you know, there's no pictures of the box, only the flute. Okay. You know, when you zoom in, oh, it looks pretty nice. It looks legit, kind of, right? So still, how would you know? So comparing the head joints, let's click this, without looking at price. You know, it looks pretty well the same. Let's see if there's one just of the head joint. There's no markings. It's got a plastic thing, which kind of, mm, to me, but if you weren't buying flutes a lot, I don't think you'd really think anything of it, except for that it protects the tenon here. There's no markings on this here, so it would look like it's legit, right? Let's continue looking on even further. Okay, so let's take a look more of at the body then. Open hold flute. Most student flutes are not open hold, especially if they're coming with the curved head joint. The curved head joint are for those younger, smaller kids, right? This is not for adults, full-size adults. So open hold, that's pretty big. Okay. This curved head joint only goes to the model 222. So why don't we take a look at that flute particularly. Here is the student model 222. Look how much this flute is. Not even comparable to the flute they have there. Okay, when you look at this one, closed hole flute. It is closed hole. Okay, what else do you think we could find? Another thing, the Yamaha. I don't know if I can zoom out on this. Not really, but... Hopefully you can kind of see the key arms here, right? They have a certain design where they come out and they have like this little bead thing down. Okay, that's pretty popular with the Yamaha flutes. If you zoom in on this flute, it doesn't have those. Okay, I believe the name of the, that is the Y key frame, the, the Y arms. Let me just make sure uh, if that's what it's called. Oh yeah, the pointed key arms. That's what this is. It's easier to see on the foot joint. You got the little bead here. It comes around. This flute doesn't have that. They're just like the standard Y. So they don't have... Let's see if I can... Here's just the body. See here? They don't have that design that holds the keys in place. So that's pretty fishy don't you think the key arms are not the same 
And like I said, that's pretty popular within the Yamaha flutes. All right, let's keep looking. Taking a look at this flute, there is no marking on the barrel. That is probably the biggest indicator. There's no markings. You look at the Yamaha flute, they put their branding on here. They also put their branding on the head joint. That's pretty standard for any brand name of flute. They always brand their flutes. So even looking here, let's look at the head joint. No markings, no markings. There's nothing on here. Okay, let's see what else. When you take a look, and I don't know if you'll be able to really kind of figure this one out, but these flutes are silver plated. All right, that's fine. And they're generally made out of nickel, nickel, all right? This one, you'll have to read down to see what its material is made out of. It's not quite nickel. This is the material used in your cheap Amazon type flutes, the ones that are between $75 and $99. This is what they're made out of. And this material is not nearly as durable as the nickel and what your standard flutes are made out of. This is cheap stuff that does not last. It does not hold up, all right? But down here, you know, it'll tell you it's nickel plated. Well, it's the, you know, the Yamaha flute is not nickel plated, it's silver plated, all right? But they do make it seem like it's the Yamaha, it's in the name, Yamaha. Yamaha, I was checking the spelling. So it always like kind of seems legit. It looks kind of legit, but those things are major. And then I think I saw one more thing with this here. This flute also has the split E mechanism, which I guess it's becoming a little more popular with the student flutes, but that's an upgraded detail and that is not on this Yamaha student flute. Remember, this is the only flute that can go with the curved head joint. You can't take any other model to place it on. So this flute here on eBay, marked for $90, is fake. So when you're looking around for instruments and you're on the marketplace, Amazon, because Amazon will have things just like this, or eBay, and you're looking for a brand new flute, those are things you need to check for. If you're getting a new flute, I wouldn't even risk that kind of thing. I'd go straight to a retailer because also if you get your flute on Amazon or eBay, you don't get the warranties and you're gonna want the warranties. Even if you don't need it, get it at a legit retailer. Anyway, I hope this video helps. I don't wanna see anybody falling into these traps not knowing of what they're actually buying. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd love to help. All right, thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.